Uh, today's Friday. Uh, these are my pickups. Spent $104 on the stuff that you see here. Got some games today. Uh, total surprise. Paid a good price for them. I'll start with those in a second. Um, yeah, you know, I'll just start with those. Okay, here we go. $104. For $40, um, I got... I went to a sale, and this wasn't early. It was later. It must have been about 11, 11.30. Uh, I go in there. Right on the shelf, I see this right away. I notice... Well, that's the back of it. I notice this, like, immediately. Big Nintendo 64 box. I'm like, ooh. I did, like, a monkey noise. I went, ooh, ooh. Right? I got all excited. Um, so I grab that. And as I'm grabbing that, I see these. So I'm like, how much is this? She goes, 20 bucks. I'm like, boom, done, right? I didn't even look in the box, right? And then I said, well, how much are these? $5 a piece, right? That total came to 45 And um, she, she let me have it for 40 She's like, 40 is okay. All right. So anyway, um, when I got it, I didn't know it was in the box. So I didn't open the box pretty much till now. And I didn't want to open it in front of them because if there was like a bunch of games in there, they might have been like, well, each game's five bucks. So I just figured I'd roll the dice because I, I kind of took a peek and I saw this was there. So I'm like, yeah, I'm good, right? 20 bucks plus a box, which I don't really care about. Um, but either way, that's a good deal. Uh, pretty good condition. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I don't know. I think that's a 20 to $30 game now. I'm not really up on prices on everything because they change so quickly. They're up, they're down. That's a black expansion pack, or uh, memory pack. And this controller has stickers and stuff on it, but the joystick feels pretty good, and I'm going to have to add uh, a different AV. Anyway, um, 20 bucks, and then five games, $5 each, $20 deal. Um, here's what I got. I got uh, Donkey Kong, pretty good condition. Street Fighter 2, um, some of these games are probably 20 to $30 games. Super Mario World, I think this is a 20 to $25 game. Uh, Street Fighter 2, I don't know, maybe it's like 10 15 I'm not sure. Donkey Kong Country ought to be like 20 to 30 You know, again, if the battery's good, and also I'm not always up on, on prices for this stuff because I don't get them very often. I don't memorize prices for everything, especially since they changed. Mega Man X, I checked this. This is probably like... Uh, 30, 25, 20 to 30, something like that. And then here's one, uh, Secret of Evermore. Not a valuable game. I never heard of it. I'm not really sure what the gameplay is like. Um, but that's another $20, $30 game, somewhere in that range. It depends, you know. Like, they start it on Amazon, 25 then you add shipping, it's 30 But what will I realistically get at the flea market? Probably 20 25 the most. Um, so, okay. And, and then I got this. But, unfortunately, this is empty. Which I don't have to show you. You can, um, but it does have the manual, I guess. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, empty. Too bad. I paid a uh, three dollars for this and this bag of marbles. There aren't really too many marbles in here. I'll keep, but there's a few. Uh, let's see. I'm in the shade. Let me see if I can get it in the sun. Um, like that's a good marble there. That's like a, a caramel slag kind of thing going on. And um, these are older, but not very big a deal. I could have here's here's one. Uh, I forget who makes this. That's probably Arco Agate. These are probably like Arco Agate. There's like I say here's a nice slag one. This is like an an older one probably. I don't think there's anything too amazing here. I, this one's like Popeyes, but I, I can't find my marble book. I had a marble book that would tell me. I thought I saw a flame in here. This one's kind of like a flame. I had a marble book that would tell me everything. This one's all beat up, but that's kind of a nice old one. This one's a really nice slag. Ah, for three bucks at uh, marbles. I, I would dump them out into, into a bowl, but I don't have one. Same sale, I got this. I bought these little... Uh, they had $5. So I kind of paid $5 for that. Um, they're a little dirty. Apparently, there's someone's hair on that. I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I'm trying to make a wish. <laughs> see if that comes through uh let's see they're all the same thing and marie says they're probably just for like thanksgiving ones which makes sense right they kind of look like pilgrim smurfs la 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 we travel back in time pilgrim smurfs all right um that's the games uh, pretty much uh, 
Check this out, Daryl. I'm just I paid five bucks for this. It's a Lego set. I'm not familiar. It's it's a ship of some sort. Looks like it's got all or most of the parts in there. I'm just gonna give it straight to you because you can work your magic, have the kids put it together, whatever, have fun with it, and then sell it. Um I have no clue what the ship is. Some kind of pirate ship, I guess. Maybe it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, wait, there's a figure in here. Okay, there's some figures in here. That ought to make it easier. It's definitely a pirate ship. Okay, it's a pirate ship. All right. I don't think it's it has to do anything with a movie, but it's kind of cool. Whatever. Um, check this. What's so special about this? Nothing really. It was ten dollars, and I bought it at the same sale as I bought the Smurfs, the Lego, and um, the Mar. No, the Smurfs, the Legos, and the video games. Um, the reason Marie rolled the dice on it, it's it's Ferroc Ferro Carol, Caril, Ferro Caril, Antiquia, Antiquia. It's obviously a, a reproduction of of an antique type watch. I don't imagine it has a lot of value. The reason we bought it because there were two fobs in the box. This one and this one. This fob didn't look very special like anything but the extra fob she thought it was gold or like gold filled. Turns out it is gold filled. This is kind of a nice fob. I don't know if you can see the embossed design on it. This we can put on eBay and I don't know what fobs go for but a nice one like this ought to be like 20, 30, 40. I don't really know. You know? I've, I've put some old fobs on eBay and I've done well before. Um, okay. Now, at another sale, I got, uh, here. I think we went to like five sales today. And uh, I think I bought stuff at Forum. Uh, let me do the ties. We got like, they were selling ties for like a quarter piece. We want to, we want to learn a little bit about that kind of stuff. So, um... We bought some ties. We're going to see what happens. Now, for a quarter a piece, that's like almost like getting them for free. So we can just learn and experiment or whatever. But she did get some, like here's a Pierre Cardin. Uh, who's this? I don't know. They're all like designers, like good designers. And she said like she wasn't going to get the, this is Bill Blass, obviously. Um, Bill Blass, Bill Blass. And what she's probably, uh, check this one. This is the Beatles. And it's Rocky Raccoon Saloon. It's a Beatles, and it's done after the song Rocky Raccoon. I'm almost positive. Not a super valuable tie. I thought it might be worth 30 or 40 I think it's worth in the 15 to $20 range. And up. Bill Blass again. Gucci. Let me see. Uh, Polo. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Laurent. Christian Dior. Yves Saint, La Yves Saint Laurent, Dior, Dior, and what I was saying is what we should do is just uh, Christian Dior, Yves Saint Laurent, and this is uh, Dior again. What I was thinking is we would just do them in lots uh, and by their designer name, and I imagine each tie should be worth at least 10 bucks a piece on eBay with shipping and stuff like that. So if we do lots of like four... Maybe we can get 20 to $30 a lot. Um, maybe we'll try auctions and start cheap and see what happens. Okay, two more things. At the sale, they were selling board games for a dollar. So I got this Donald Trump, uh, the game, um, for a dollar. And this one looks fairly good condition, and I think it's complete. I think I can get at least, I don't think it's worth a million dollars or anything. It's got some kind of crud. Ugh, I'm not even touching that. I um. Okay, it's gone. Crud's gone. Sorry, Donald. It's got some more. No, I don't know. That might be corrosion. I imagine I can get at least twenty bucks for it. Um, and then I, they had the Smurf Ahoy. I don't think this is complete or anything. I have no clue of value on uh, this one. This one kind of little clue. And but it was a dollar, so I figured oh, Smurfs. People like to Smurfs. So why not, right? And uh, it's got some kind of ship in it. it was, and this was not the same house where I bought the little Smurf figures. See? So, whatever. Okay. If it's worth a lot, Daryl, I'll let you list it. But if it's worth like 10, I'll bring it to the flea market and try and sell it for 5. And if it doesn't sell, I'll give it to Nick. 
All right. Um, in the video after this, you'll see me walking around and looking at stuff. And this one had this this litho. They only had it marked at five bucks, right? And I knew it was going to be signed, but you couldn't see the signature because <sighs> it had shifted down in the frame so far down that it was underneath this. Now I've had this kind of stuff before. I know you you turn it over and you just kind of gently bounce it uh, up and down, maybe. 10, 20, whatever times you need to do it. You can shift it up so you can see who the artist is. So I don't, I think this says, let me get down low. I think it says D or J and then Rosen, it could be Berg or Fur, Rosen Fur or Rosen something. Here, that's what it looks like. But it is Judaica, that's gotta be the Wailing Wall of Israel in Israel and uh, you, as you can see it's limited 23 of 250 for five bucks if this guy is anybody you know it should be worth at least 50 to 125 and for five bucks I can't go wrong you know I just gotta figure out who it is obviously it's gonna need to the frame will need to be open I'm not gonna do it um, unless it's worth a lot a lot of money then I might just take if it's worth a lot of money which generally they wouldn't be if it was worth say like uh, say more than a hundred. Maybe I'll open up, take the litho out, and sh uh, shoot it for eBay that way. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I didn't really talk about this. I have a lot of Morris Katz paintings. I find them around all the time. And I have another one back there I'm going to show in a second. This is a little one. He had ten on this. I said, hey, would you take five? It's like, fine. Morris Katz was a very prolific artist. Um, I think he goes back to, I think, I don't know exactly when he started painting, but he's very well known from the 70s, 80s, 90, uh, 2000s, and I think he passed away like less than five years ago. Not 100% sure on that. Um, less than 10 years ago, for sure. And I find his paintings all the time, and I just, whenever they're not too expensive, I, I pick them up. This is just one of his, his little like seascapes with uh, a seagull. Not a very great painting or anything, but this is the way the dude painted. And that, his signature always looks like that. He's very recognizable. Uh, the problem with him and value is that he was so prolific that there's like, I don't know, there's like an insane amount of Morris paint, cats paintings out there. There could be, he might have painted 20, 30,000 in his lifetime. Uh, like I said, I don't really know. Here's the other one. This is also what I believe to be a Judaica type theme. Something Israel. It looks like a scene in Israel because uh, that looks like it would be, I don't know. Uh, Hasidim or or something like that the cards I don't know if, if it's supposed to be old-timey or if it's supposed to represent a scene of today there's a donkey pulling a cart right there there's a signature again same year 1982 this guy used to paint like upstate he would do special shows where he sell his paintings I see palm trees I'm almost positive it's a scene from the Middle East and most likely Israel um, he does a lot of paintings like that the reason oh this was marked 50 right but I'm like, oh, I'm always willing to pay like 30 bucks or something this size with Morris Katz. And sometimes if I really like it, I'll pay more. But this isn't really my kind of thing. But I think Judaica does well on eBay. I don't know. I have to decide. One day, maybe I'll take a whole bunch of um, photos of all my Morris Katz paintings. I, I don't really know how many I have, but I think I have about 40 or 50. Uh, anyway, that's my pickups for today. You know. Probably what I'll do with these is I'll just wait one day when he passes. Well, he already passed away. When I'm much older, uh, maybe he'll he'll have jumped in value, and I'll be sitting on like what would 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 be somebody who like invested in Picassos, you know, because he does have his own style. He's very recognizable. I never see anybody who paints exactly the way he does, and uh, I, I you know, we'll just see. I think the main problem with this guy is just he was so prolific. He was on TV, had his own show. Anyway, um, that's what I got for today. I don't think I'm gonna find anything tomorrow because I'm going to Clark. Uh, JC, I think it's Clark High School in Clark. I don't know. Uh, J Prom JC Promotions link will always be in my description. Uh, quick shout outs to all my friends out there. Uh, I, uh, Bargain Barons, check their videos, subscribe to them. Nas Nostalgic, AJ ASAP, Zonk, um, Video Gamer Daryl, others who I also like. Um, uh, I can't think of anybody right now, but I watch them all the time. I've been watching Rally Roots, but probably uh, they, they have a lot of subscribers. I've been watching T Tucker Upper, Scrap and Pallet Man. Um, mainly watch, I like a guy named Thubprint. He's in Canada, 
and it's like them without the M, the print. And uh, but these channels are all actually much bigger than mine, so they don't really need help. Uh, Chase after the right price, they're pretty good. Uh, that's enough uh, shout outs for now. Anyway, Sunday, I think I'm in Clifton High School. Uh, not one of my favorite markets. Uh, I'm selling this weekend because I need to make a lot of money, <laughs> as always. You know, I spend, I spend, I spend, and, and then and then when I try and sell, uh, it's not quite as easy as it is to spend. Anyway, I'm dragging this out. If you like, after this video, if you like watching, how long is this video? Oh, it's 15 minutes long. Uh, of me hunting for stuff, just walking around through houses, stuff like that. After this, if you like that kind of stuff, you'll see what I saw, what I didn't buy, what I did buy, whatever. You get to see the sales I went to and what was there. Uh, anyway, uh, if you can, come tomorrow to Clark. And if you do, I will see you there. Goodbye. Hey, how are you? Is it just this floor? The whole house. Ah, okay. And that means upstairs, downstairs? Upstairs, downstairs, and garage. Okay. Cats painting. I would like to buy this, but I ain't wasting money today. Fifty bucks is the limit. Yeah, today I need money more than this stuff, and I basically buy Mars Cats paintings and I keep them. That's kind of a nice one. That's 50 bucks. I'm gonna check the basement. Okay. And it looks like a sub basement. Tonka wasn't a bad deal, but today I'm only looking for stuff I can flip at the flea market or good for eBay. There's a lot of random stuff. A couple of things I would have bought if I had more money. Skateboard, 25. I used to use a uh, course like that when I did ph photography. So far I haven't seen anything. I'm going to head upstairs. I went all the way down there. They got a lot of board games. If you want to look at them, but... I <laughs> You know, that's not my thing. Upstairs. More quilts. 
not nice ones. This one's kind of nice, but then you know. This is nice looking, but it's got a big chip. Mm, this is cool. It'll be rad now. To Andy, happy Hanukkah, love, Gilda Radner. They covered up the signature on this one. Five bucks. I'm going to take that off the wall and look at it. Just finish the room. It's nice, but, um, oh, maybe I can, hold on. Let's, let's try this. If I shift it, it might shift down. I don't want to spend much time looking at this, but this is pretty cool. Oh, this is for tobacco. It's for cigars, cigar rest. I decided to take this. Looks like that guy's pro on TV. Hundred on those lamps. Okay. This is probably the Welling Wall, Israel, Judaica. Suspenders. People used to wear suspenders. Look at these ties. Give me the heads up. Let me look at the clothes, maybe. You know what? I'll summary for this stuff. Let me just finish and then I'll look harder. Okay, let me see if she wants to look at the ties. 25 cents each, never know. What is that? Oh, I remember that? oh, yeah, I remember that. Hours of fun. It's not gyroing, though. <laughs> <laughs> How do they break that? Yeah, right? It's yeah, like it's so a... low technology, you think <laughs> right? nothing could go wrong with it. Right. Let's see. Oh, Smurfs. Smurf on high. Discord, some Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo 64. A lot of decorative, but... I'm 
mess with that today. I gotta save my money for good stuff. Every room when she looks at herself no, in the mirror. I, don't. I just like because it makes the room look bigger. Do you have um, an arrow? So, uh, a lot of music CD, but I don't care for that today. I don't have a lot of money. It's $3 each. Okay, okay. Okay, it's all classical. So I don't care about the music. I looked at the... Oh, I don't care. That's like, I'm saving money for like better stuff. We just got a whole bunch of Super Nintendo. But that stuff is cheap anyway, right? The, the other room has a lot of decorative stuff. You want to go look in there? Sorry. Okay. Hello, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Can you go this one first? Pardon me. They had, they had like this kind of stuff here. Was there anything here, Marie? Sorry. See, look uh, over there. I, I thought maybe you'd want to speak over there.
No, I don't have to go now. But I drink the bath. I had it in a very hard table. Yeah, we go to the farm. It's so pretty. Yeah. There's the cabinet. I'm going to look harder at this stuff now. How are you? Hey, are you doing two? Oops, sorry. Sorry? Camera department. Are you guys doing two sales today? Sorry? Are you doing two sales yeah, today? Yeah, Ah, okay. What are you getting on the marbles? Marie's coming in. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just going to try something. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll walk around. Let me see if I can find some stuff. Sorry. <coughs> this will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Hi, how are you? Good. Is it just this floor? No, it's downstairs actually. Okay. This is phase two. Okay. Phase two. <laughs> this is phase one. Okay. Getting the house ready to go on the market. So it's just that main room, and then what's down here? Yeah, what you walk through. Okay. So that you saw there. So we've got this area here, and there's more area okay. over there. Okay. All right, let me explore the room. Neighbor from the store who lives down the street from the building. They're calling 
find anything at this one. The canters. Okay. That's fine. So, and then it's it's the main floor. Oh, I didn't look over yeah, there. Yeah, over here. And then um, it's just some of that living room furniture will be for sale. Okay. Okay. I'm going to head upstairs. Okay. Oh, nothing in particular. <laughs> I'll just double check him. Thank you guys. Have a nice one. Any other good sales? I I spent $3. But uh, she didn't have a lot left, I think. I think she's doing all right. I'm gonna take a peek upstairs to start. Is there a basement? Okay. Attic, basement, everything. Gina Tay, that's one of the few perfumes I don't buy. DVDs, I ain't buying DVDs today. Save my money. From at least, unless I don't want DVDs. Okay. That was me chirping. Games. I don't want any of that stuff. Oops. for a lot of stuff but I'm in a rush. I don't want any of this. You see anything? Um, I went upstairs. Look at this thing. 
Yeah, I'll check the basement. Out. I know this ain't the basement. I think I looked at it earlier. That should be it. 